osmoregulation. Now, kidneys have got multiple functions. The multiple functions say extra base like urea, uric acid, creatinine, these are collected and pushed outside by kidneys. The kidneys, they are also maintaining electrolyte balance. Salts, extra salts pushed outside. Less salts, there is conservation of salts. Likewise, there is water balance. Water, extra water is present, it is pushed outside. Less water, it will try to reabsorb water. So, kidneys are home, they are homeostatic organs. They maintain constancy of internal chemical environment by pushing out extra salts, by pushing out extra water. And they also push out the base, urea, uric acid, creatinine, see, base are pushed out. See. The kidneys are also maintaining acid-base balance. H plus ions, see, H plus ions, wherever, here, here, and here, that extra H plus ions are collected and pushed outside. If H plus ions are not pushed outside, when they are retained in body, SDT increases. pH of blood is precisely maintained at 7.4. If acidity increases, the H plus ions are increasing, the pH, the concentration of H plus ions increases, the pH will dip below 7. And at lower pH, the oxygen carrying capacity to hemoglobin is reduced. So it hampers the physiological activities. So, the kidneys are maintaining acid-base balance by pushing out extra H plus ions. The kidneys also produce erythropoietin, a hormone which is useful for formation of red blood cells. Erythropoietin, hormone which produces red blood cells. And kidneys also produce thrombopoietin. Thrombopoietin. Thrombocytes means blood platelets. So, production of blood platelet occurs with the help of thrombopoietin. And vitamin D activated inside kidneys. So, kidneys, they are not just excretory in function, they have got multiple functions. And they definitely help in osmoregulation. Extra salts, extra water, pushed out. Now, hormones, if you observe hormones, antidiuretic hormones. Now, if inside the body there are less fluids, supposing it is very hot outside, a lot of heat is present outside and because of heat some water is lost, fluids have decreased. Osmoreceptors, osmoreceptors, so they convey the impulses to hypothalamus. So it is the hypothalamus. Hypothalamus means in diencephalon, if you observe a diencephalon, the roof is called epithalamus, the floor is called hypothalamus. So, hypothalamus, the osmoreceptors will detect the fluid content in body, it gives impulses to hypothalamus. So, when impulses are given to hypothalamus, now more ADH is produced. More ADH is produced, more water is taken back into body. So, gradually, blood volume will increase. Alternately, when more fluid is already present in the blood, the osmoreceptors are shut down. So, ADH production stops. When ADH production is stopped, water is automatically pushed outside from body. That's how ADH is working in that area. Then, in the distal convoluted tubule, at the beginning of the distal convoluted tubule, there you can see macula densa. At the ending of ascending limb or at the beginning of the distal convoluted tubule, you can see a group of closely packed cells. The closely packed cells are called as macula densa. 
macula densa is in close proximity with efferent arteriole. How is that? I, I can draw that this way also. See, when I draw the same nephron in this direction, this is the efferent arteriole which is coming in this direction and this Bowman's capsule, this Bowman's capsule, proximal convulsions, distal convulsions. See now, macula densa is here, efferent arteriole is here. Inside efferent arteriole, there are juxta glomerular cells, JG cells. They are called juxta glomerular cells. Now, juxta they are called juxta glomerular cells. Here we have got macula densa. Macula densa are a group of closely packed cells at the beginning of the distal convoluted tubule. In the efferent arteriole, you will find JG cells. JG cells are also called juxtaglomerular cells. Juxtaglomerular cells are modified smooth muscle cells which can produce an enzyme called renin, R-E-N-I-N. So they are modified smooth muscle cells present inside the wall of efferent arteriole which can synthesize renin enzyme. Now, JG cells and macular dense are together called juxtaglomerular apparatus.